I want to thank God the Almighty that we are all alive tonight for the grace of this platform. I want to thank my daddy and my mommy. You will long enjoy divine pleasure, even eternally in Jesus' name. I am sure that God selected you to be here tonight because we are about to do something that the Word of God commands as a priority. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, we are told that first of all, we should pray, supplicate, intercede, and give thanks for all men. So I want to implore you to please rise. As we begin to do that which God has commanded. First, the giving of thanks. I want us to individually remember in all our nations, all our nations, the good times. Times when there was no cholera, no COVID, no pandemic. We ate tomatoes in abundance and there was divine subsidy. I want us to lift up our hands together to the Almighty God and bless Him for past blessings. Just remember all the good times that we have enjoyed. It is the good Lord that gave us a good climate before good, the climate change. I want you to just personally thank God. If possible, thank Him in your own native language. Yes, no matter where you are, all over the world, in all the nations of the earth, in every tongue, say, Father, we are grateful. We are not forgetful of all your goodness. We have been enjoying your grace. Thou openest thy hand and satisfied the desire of every living thing. Please, let's go ahead and thank him. Father, we give you glory tonight on behalf of all men. Forgive us our ingratitude. We have come to say thank you on behalf of every man in every nation, all mankind that is alive. We have come to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the peace when there was no war. Thank you for the blessings that we have all enjoyed. We give you all praise. We give you thanks. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If that is from the bottom of your heart, let the amen ring out. The second thing that we are asked to do in 1 Timothy chapter 1 is to raise supplication an intercession for all men. We are all owing God an apology. And tonight, on behalf of mankind, God has given you grace to be alive. I want us to raise a prayer of apology and say to Baba God, to our Father, we are sorry for all our sins, for the sins of white men and the sins of black men and the sins of yellow men, and the sins of brown men, and the sins of the believing, and the sins of the unbelieving. Father, every way that we have made you unhappy, we are the works of your hands, but we have served. We have served what is less than you. We have served ourselves. We have not given you praise or gratitude. We have been very proud and conceited we have been wicked one to another. I want you to say, Father, please forgive my sins, the sins of Nigeria, the sins of my nation, the sins of all mankind. Everything that we have done, we have destroyed what we did not construct, and we have wasted that which we cannot make. And we have just come to say, Father, please forgive us. 
Father, please forgive us for everything that makes you unhappy. We have been worse than the worlds that you destroyed before. Father, please forgive us. We have just come to say we are sorry. We are sorry for ourselves. We are sorry for our neighbors. We are sorry for Nigeria. You have blessed us so much, but we have nothing to show. You have blessed many nations and you have oppressed others with it. Father, please forgive us. We raise our voice of agreement to say, Father, please just be merciful. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If your prayer was sincere, let the amen ring out. And then we are going to pray because that is what this time is for. That scripture in verse 2 tells us that in particular we should pray for kings. And tonight we are going to be praying for all categories of kings. We have political kings. We call them presidents, prime ministers, the senate, the house of rep, the local government chairman. And then we have our traditional rulers, rulers of ethnic nationalities, languages. They are our kings. And then we have social kings, the digital influencers that are leading many souls to hell. And then, in every household, we have kings. In my native language, your father or your husband is also called the king in my house. Tonight, I want us to pray that God will do two things with our kings. Proverbs 21.1 says, The heart of the king is in the hand of God. To turn as the streams of water wherever he wants it. So we are going to pray that God will turn the heart of all our kings in all the mountains of influences away from evil, away from error, away from destructive and wrong decisions. And God will turn their hearts, turn their hearts to righteousness, to peace, and to divine solutions. They don't have solutions for the challenges that we face. God is the ultimate solution. He's the one that gave Pharaoh solution for farming before it came. I want you to tell God, please, the kings in my nation, turn their hearts from the wrong direction. Turn their hearts from error. Turn their hearts away from war and evil cancel. Turn their hearts to your divine solution. Meet them in the day. Meet them in the night. Meet them in their dream. Give them divine solutions so that we will enjoy peace and prosperity. Thank you, our Father. We give you glory and praise. We worship you. Go ahead, pray for the kings in our houses, our fathers our husbands if it is well with the head it is well with all i want you to tell god father the king in my house yes the kings in our community our fathers give them divine solutions give them wisdom show them ways out tell them what to do give them visions 14 year visions as you gave to Pharaoh, 400 year visions as you gave to Abraham. Give them visions of what to do. Take them out of confusion. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, blessed Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, we are going to pray. At the beginning of this year, we are so blessed that we have daddy and mommy, father and mother of nations. Yes, go ahead. Give God that clap offering. We appreciate them. We want God to know that we are happy, that we are blessed to have them. This year, at the beginning, 
God told our daddy that the wind is blowing. We are going to pray. You know, every fire can be quenched by the wind and it can be increased by the wind. You are going to pray. All the fires of war, all the evil fires all over the world, the fires of banditry, of kidnapping, things we don't even understand, that the wind of God, the wind of peace, we blow across all the world and quench it. And then we will now ask for the wind of blessing for our land. Are you ready to pray? I want you to shout. Don't murmur the prayer. Father, our heavenly Father, Jehovah Elohim, the Alpha and Omega, send your wind, the wind of peace, all across Nigeria. Send your wind, the wind of peace, all across the nations of the world, across Mexico, stop the gang wars, across Ukraine and Russia, Israel and Gaza, send the wind of peace, 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 peace. Quench every fire, every fire of war, the fires that are not your fires. Quench them in the name of Jesus. Father, Nigeria needs the wind of blessing. Yes, our nation needs the wind of blessing. Let the wind of judgment cease. Let the wind of worse times, bad times cease. Have mercy. Release from heaven the wind of blessing. We need your blessing. Father, let the wind blow. Let your wind blow. Let the wars cease. Let the killings cease. Let the bloodshed cease. Let the blessings begin. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, our Father, we thank you for the grace of this platform. Your word says, if two or more shall agree, in Matthew 18, 19. In that order, O oh God, we have agreed. Concerning this nation and all the nations of the world, let the wind of peace blow. Turn the heart of our leaders away from war and conflict. Turn their hearts to righteousness and peace. Turn the hearts of our young ones all over the nations to righteousness, to salvation, to serving God. Turn their hearts away from drugs and evil influences in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the anthem of this nation, Nigeria, says in the second stanza that we want to give a banner without stain to the coming generation all over the world remove the stains from the banners of our nation remove the stain of corruption in the mighty name of jesus all over the world let there be mass repentance mass repentance let the fire of your glory be refueled in every nation of the world in the name of jesus let the fire of your word be refueled in every nation in the mighty name of jesus and wherever there is a logo of the redeemed christian church of god in every nation where there is somebody joining us to pray let the covenant of the redeemed christian church of god begin to speak in the mighty name of jesus thank you our father 
we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.